Thank you, uh, Speaker, sir. I rise to uh, respond to the question asked by the Honorable Elvik Maharaj, and I thank him for the question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, addressing skills shortages requires multi-stakeholder approach involving collaboration among governments, educational institutions, workers, and employers' organizations, and the whole private sector to ensure that we get the most practical solution to the problems that exist within the industries. Mr. Speaker, sir, the issue of skills gaps and labor mobility is a global issue. And a small economy like Fiji is hit the hardest due to, the, due to our skilled workers being poached by bigger nations. This is an issue that I have profoundly discussed with the relevant stakeholders to ensure we come up with better policies and programs. Mr. Speaker, sir, the ministry has been working with the stakeholders like the Tertiary Loans and Scholarship Board through Pro Professor Hitendra Pille of Queensland University of Technology in the area of priority needs on training and development of the workforce. Professor Pillay and his team has prepared a comprehensive report on the priority areas, where scholarships will be given in the next three to five years based on the labor market and industry demand. Mr. Speaker, sir, a copy of this report is also with the Ministry of Finance and National Planning. Mr. Speaker, sir, we have already been in discussion with the Fiji Higher Education Commission, Ministry of Education, International Organization for Migration, TSLS, including our overseas development partners, in working together to conduct an employment survey and skill gap, skills gap, and also explore new opportunities to strengthen our local institutions like NDPC. Mr. Speaker, I was uh, invited to launch the TSLS Employer Connect Framework uh, earlier this year. This framework is to connect employers with students that are sponsored by TSLS and, <coughs> and the recent graduates seeking employment. TSLS assured to launch an online portal to help employers connect with students, <coughs> graduates seeking employment. The online portal is ready to be launched on the 15th of December and go live. The Employment Employer Connect portal developed by the Tertiary Loans and Scholarships Scheme service is a comprehensive job board. The key features of the Employer Connect portal are as follows. <laughs> the job board for graduate and employers Graduates can register, create online resumes, while employers can post job vacancies. All registrations are autom automatically verified via FRCS-10 verification integration. Easy application process. The portal simplifies the application process, making it easier for graduates to apply for jobs. Efficient recruitment for employers. Companies are effortlessly shortlisted can effortlessly shortlist candidates, schedule interviews, and hire suitable applicants. Smart job matching, a sophisticated algorithm, suggests the best job opportunities based on the applicant's skills, ensuring a good match between the job requirement and the application, applicant's capabilities. Insightful reporting module, the report, the portal includes modules for analyzing the job market, skills demand, and scholarship trends, adding in strategic decision making. User-friendly interface with smart job cards, the easy navigation of the portal is designed to enhance user experience. Notifications, user, user, users receive timely updates and notifications relevant to their job search recruitment needs. Mr. Speaker, sir, 
the framework not only assists graduates in, a, in securing employment opportunities, but also expedites talent search for employers. Overall, the Employer Connect portal by TSLS represents significant step in connecting sponsored students with potential employers, supporting them throughout their educational and early professional journey. I thank the TSLS uh, leadership uh, and the staff, as well as the, the fourth year software engineering students from USP who developed this. As you know, Mr. Speaker, sir, TSLS has allowed Order. Just wait, listen. It has allowed its over 13,000 sponsored, st sponsored students to work 20 hours a week in seeking approval. Uh, by seeking approval, Mr. Speaker said, this is helping employers to some extent to mitigate labor shortages. I thank the TSLS again for this initiative in helping government and the employers. I will soon be meeting with the uh, potential employers, Mr. Speaker, sir, <coughs> to discuss the, listen, apprenticeship, the apprenticeship scheme, Mr. Speaker, sir, it is all about job box. For consult, in consultation with the, uh, the TSLS board, the apprenticeship scheme, Mr. Speaker, sir, is a way of mitigating labor shortage and government has a plan to incentivize it. How we are going to incentivize Listen, how we are going Order. to incentivize it. We are offering, Mr. Speaker said, the, the, the hourly pay of the, the uh, apprentices is $2.97. We are now offering the employers an incentive to pay another $2, to top, up, top it up with $2, to make it $4.97, and or by 50% of the school fee through TSLS. So that is the incentive we are working on. Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir. The Mr. Speaker, sir. The, as I speak, the Fiji Commerce and Employers Federation together with our ministry, with assistance from the uh, ILO, is condu conducting its own survey of the job market, including that <coughs> of the a a MS, the SMEs. And that is going to assist us further in determining the areas of, of uh, uh, need, where we can then uh, offer the short-term and medium-term uh, training programs through all the institutions that uh, are offering this program. Mr. Speaker, sir, let me also put on record in this reply. The, the, the draconian laws that were imposed by the Fiji First Government were the biggest hindrance were the biggest hindrance towards a collaborative approach in determining the shortage. Let me quantify, Mr. Speaker, say. A good survey needs data. And people who are in charge of doing good data for us are the Bureau of States. And the chief statistician was terminated by them for coming up with true data. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, say. Mr. Speaker, say. The Ministry of Employment Relations and Labor Market Development has to work in compliance with ILO conventions and instruments that we are signatory to. They blatantly, blatantly breached all the conventions that they were signatory to including the fundamental ones, and they talk about uh, labor market survey. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, Order. we are now complying with all those, and we are doing everything through consultation. We are meeting with, well, now the tripartism is at its best, no longer distorted, and we are consulting with all and discussing 
discussing and dialoguing at every step on everything that we do. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Supplementary question? Supplementary yes. questions The minister has gone around the world <laughs> and explained 50% uh, of the question. One of the questions that has been asked, and uh, may I read, which industry sectors are affected the most? He hasn't even uh, elaborated on that. Thank you, Honorable Minister. You've made a very thorough statement. And I mean, reply. Mr. Speaker, sir, all the industries are affected. All the professions are affected. There is a shortage in every area. There is a shortage in every area. There is a shortage in every area, sir. We have, we have chased our people away just because of the way we treated them, Mr. Speaker. Now we are trying to retain them and replace them. Thank you, sir. Yes, Honorable Bala, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, through you. Mr. Speaker, sir, through you, can the minister inform this house how much you have paid to that overseas consultant, one, and two, when the survey will be completed and report will be presented. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, the survey has been completed. And the report I have just stated no, is already with the, the Ministry of National, National Planning. I, 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 at the expense of uh, repeating, Mr. Speaker, sir, I have said that the report has been completed and handed over, and the copy is already with the Office of the Nas uh, uh, Ministry of National Planning. And it is being implemented. The cost is a new question, Mr. Speaker, sir. <laughs> <laughs>